G'day, it's Brack the War Boss here with a another installment of Here We Go. And apparently we're gonna have daily Here We Goes up until the box sets uh, up available on Saturday, which is all exciting. It's a bit like it's a bit like Orkmus, isn't it? Orkmus in July. Anyway, let's go and have a look. I'm just gonna read through most, have a little talk about the things that we see. Um, if we've seen it before, I'll rush through it. I'm not going to go into all then, but new things, we'll dive deep. Well, deep-ish that we can for a Tuesday morning. Okay, Beast Snagger Orcs Army set, unboxing, new mobs, massive squigs, and a special edition codex. Welcome back to Here We Go, our regular series of articles about up-and-coming releases for Orcs. We usually have an introduction for the war boss himself, but he's off preparing for the war, so we've got some time to ourselves. Time to spend having a look at the models you'll be getting in the Beast Snaggers Army box. They've got to really push this marketing, don't they? Um, Beast Snaggers are the latest subculture to make their way to the tabletop. Vicious hunters who drag down massive beasts and war machines with little more than their stickers, squigs and gung-ho attitude. The army box contains a large mob of 20 Beast Nagger boys, along with three Squig Hog boys, a knob riding his Smasher Squig, and a fan favourite Runt Herd hero returning to lead them. And we have seen this picture before. Uh, it's been around before, so that's what the contents of the box is going to be look like. But wait, that's not all. In addition to these brand new models, you'll also get an early copy of the complete codex, packed full of new and updated data sheets, stratagems, and more, as well as a full set of 52 reference data cards and a transfer sheet. This will be the first chance to get your hands on this codex. Grrr. So keep an eye out for that pre-orders opening this Saturday. And we've seen these pictures before, and look at that. They're showing us a stratagem and it's a command reroll. So we can't use that. It's really sad. Oh, well. As well as covering new units to the army set and beyond, the special edition of the Codex also showcases incredible new artwork that captures what it might like to face down an orc rampage in full flow. Take example this, yeah, we've seen this, we've seen this picture before. And it's nice, it's pretty, but, but come on, go on, new stuff, I need to see new stuff. On the topic of Squig Hog Boys, the army set includes three mounted warriors who race across the battlefield and pin down their prey with crude rocket propelled spears, they called stickers. Each model is packed with character and detail. From the motorcycle wheels attached in place to one squig hog's legs to the unusually brave Gretchen hitching a ride. And yep, here we go, we've seen this before. It's a nice picture. They look good. I like them. I know there are people who don't like them, who think they're abomination. I am not one of those people. I like them and I want to get them. Maybe they may change their mind with these stats. So, movement 10, weapon skill 3 plus, ballistic skill 5 plus, strength 5, toughness 6, wounds 3, attacks 3, leadership 6, and a 4 up save. That's not bad. It seems good, considering you've got about 3 of them in there, so it will be 3 of them, so there's 9 attacks. Could be nice depending on what these, these, how good these weapons are. Yeah, it's, it's fast, it's tough. So squad of three, nine wounds. So probably the squads are about the same effectiveness as, as some of the, the buggies. Still don't know what the price is, but we'll just have to wait, won't we? At the head of the pack, the knob on Smasher Squeak barrels, headlong, quite literally into soldiers and tanks alike. 
with a reinforced skull of his steed. Smasher Squigs are uncomplicated beasts and can crumple even the thickest armour under the weight of their impact. And they're just teasing that. They're going to be nice if they gave us some rules for this thing as well. That would be nice, but no, we get pictures instead. This model has multiple options for both the squig and its rider. Yay! Including arms holding a big chopper or slugger with the other weapon stowed on the knob's belt. A choice of organic or bionic leg and even different neck assemblies to portray the smasher squig with his head up or lowered mid-charge. Well, that's good. So we've got a little bit of posability. So the combinations we can have, could have three or four different types of looks. That's, it's okay, it's okay. Gives me something to play around with, but it also gives us extra bits. And this is what it looks like. Wow, so we've got, this is the body, one, two legs, three types of legs there. There's the big chopper, and there's a big chopper with an arm, big chopper going back. So we've got one head, two heads. There's the gun, there's a revolver type gun, and it's been holstered. Yeah, look, it looks good. I'm a bit hard to sort of see what all these things are. I'm much better at checking these things out when I can get them in my hands. I really can't tell much from just this. It, it's my mind doesn't work that way, unfortunately. In their wake, mobs of beast snagger boys charging across the battlefield with sluggers and choppers in hand, accompanied by the renegade runtherd Zoggrod Wart Snagger. The boys are just as capable of hunting their prey without a squig to ride on and use their sheer brute strength to overpower their foes. And that's right, they are, they're, they're, they've got strength five and toughness five, so that nice and tough little thing. And yeah, look, nice picture. It's a pretty picture, isn't it? The squad's knobs have the option of swapping their chopper for a power snapper, a lighter variant of the power claw that doesn't weigh down the user, ensuring they have no problems hitting their targets. Meanwhile, the rare beast naggers that's content to stow away their chopper in favour of increased firepower can carry a thump gun, a large boar handed cannons that fire huge explosive shells. All right, power snapper and the thump gun. So the power snappers for the, for the knob, the squad knob, so they're not called, not calling them boss knobs anymore. They're squad knobs, and the thumper gun is the shooter boy variant for a beast snagger boy. That's what I'm taking from that. They look like, or maybe they're saying that the knob can take it. It's a bit unsure, but either way, that looks good. And we've got some rules. Well, we've got some stats. The power snapper. Okay, it's a, it's a melee weapon. Strength plus two, AP, neg two, D, mid damage two. Assuming, well, we know that the beast snagger boy's strength is five. Are they going to give the knob an extra strength? Which count to six would make that eight. A little bit, that seems a bit too high, but it'd be nice. Even seven be okay. Eight would be better. Neg AP two, that's good. Damage two, yeah, not bad. So the power snapper being um, light won't be heavy and we won't suffer one to the ballista, the negative one to the weapon skill. Yeah, uh, thump gun, 18, 18, 18 inches. Sort of what you expect. I want you to get nice and close. Salt T3, strength six, AP neg one. Damage D3, and it's a blast weapon. So good for good for mobs. If there's more than five, you get all three. Being a blast weapon, that's always nice. Join us again tomorrow as we find out what all this wire energy is going to do once the boys hit the battlefield. Don't forget that the Beast Snake Army box, bloody bar, yeah, it's up for sale. We know, yeah, right, right. 
Um, the minimum squad size for Beast Snagger Boys is 10. So you can even split these into two separate units. So that's good news. Um, with the Orcs getting the food for the while, we're going to get you as much intel as possible. Yeah, um, so good. New stuff coming up. I I like the look of the gun. I like the thump gun, love the name. Don't mind the name of Power Snapper. The, on paper, these weapons look good. Yeah, but we still need to see more. There are a lot... The only issue I might have with some of these weapons is that there is a lot of units out there which they can negate Neg 1 AP, and some even Neg 2. So, yeah, they might not be... Uh, uh, well, I suppose you'll just have to be careful what you come up against, I suppose, or we, how you target your your um, Beast Nigger Boys in squad. Beast Nigger Boys squad. So minimum 10. Maximum, don't know, but, well, if you buy the box, I'll have a maximum of 20 until you get more, unless you buy two. Uh, but anyway, overall, I like it. I think this is reasonable news for Orcs. But we'll just have to wait and see. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Do all the algorithmy things. And if you would like to help me out financially, uh, there's always a buy me a coffee and Patreon. The links are in the description. Okay, trying to toddle off. So remember, if you go on crumping, you've got to bash early and bash often.